I am a gay man. I use the pronouns he, him, and his. I am husband to Rob, and I am father to two amazing teenagers, Gonzalo and Kira. And I am the executive director of National PTA, and for 27 years I've been a member of the Human Rights Campaign. <clears throat> That's older than some of you. <clears throat> It is not easy finding oneself or finding one's family in a heteronormative world. My kids' high school is likely one of the more progressive schools in the country. But my kids still report taunts about their faggot dads or caustic behavior that's directed to my openly bisexual son. Every day, we require students to walk into classrooms. We make them walk into classrooms where their unique expression about their, gen their gender identity is mocked or discounted, where their affectional orientation is ridiculed, or their family structure is scorned. This environment is not conducive to learning. Talk about the whole child is empty unless we embrace the LGBTQ identity in its fullness. At the National PTA, we know that. We stand in solidarity with every gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer student in America's schools. You heard about a resolution that our members adopted where National PTA expressed its belief and started acting on that belief that LGBTQ students should be recognized as a protected class. We believe every student deserves an intentional, safe, affirming and inclusive learning environment. Don't you? <clears throat> and that best happens when we work with people like you and HRC and GLSEN to arm educators with training and resources and we update our human education, health, sorry, health education standards regarding sexual orientation, gender identity and gender expression. We stand with the Human Rights Campaign boldly because we believe that every child deserves to come to that school we make them go to, excited and joyful to learn in a safe and nurturing environment that values them without the fear of bullying, violence, or discrimination. PTA is the oldest and largest child welfare organization in the country with more than 3 million members, over 20,000 schools and we've been actively leading since then. In 2017, with Glisten and others, we filed an amicus brief in the Supreme Court supporting transgender student Gavin Grimm, fighting that discrimination bathroom policy that separated transgender students from their peers. And thank God, he eventually won. <clears throat> In 2018, we signed on to an amicus brief to support Pennsylvania Boyertown Area School District. They had created a good, a good policy that allowed students to use the facilities that matched with their chosen or identified gender expression. As a result of that, the U.S. Third District Court upheld their good policy. In 2018, we opposed this administration when they rescinded federal guidance related to Title IX civil rights protections for transgender students in public schools. Unfortunately, that still stands. Every year, we partner with HRC through the good work of Ellen Kahn and others to elevate best practices to create welcoming environments for students and their families. We push out HRC's top-notch resources we promote HRC's Welcoming Schools Back to School Week, and we invite HRC staff to our LGBTQ panel at our convention. As mentioned, we are proud partners in HRC's Project Thrive campaign. Our government affairs worked recently with HRC and others to pass HR 5 in the House, which would amend the civil rights law to explicitly prohibit discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. I believe you are all with us on this journey, and I tell you these things because I want you to know that we are in the battle with you. And so we invite you, as Wilford Peterson said, walk with the dreamers, the believers, the courageous, the cheerful, the planners, the doers, the successful people with their heads in the cloud and their feet on the ground. 
Let all of our spirits, and the spirits of these young people we've heard from today, ignite a fire within us to leave this world a better place than how we found it. The combined power of PTA, the Human Rights Campaign, and each one of you drives our shared public policy goals so that our elected officials know exactly where we stand and that we won't take no for an answer. I look forward to our continued partnership. Thank you.